Hello everyone, it is your boy C Dust back again. And dang do we have some major, major updates. And with these updates, I think we will finally, finally, finally be able to end the drama because finally the main leaders of the parties are now actually speaking. So without further ado, I guess let's just dive straight in. So first things first, I wanted to address a common misconception that I think a lot of people had in the last video regarding Logan actually cheating. A lot of people were saying that Logan didn't cheat because of the fact that basically he was dating the new girl after he had already broken up with Chili. The problem is though, is the fact that according to Rebecca, aka Mimi Cash, aka Tito's uh, fake girlfriend, um, she said here that according to her, that apparently Logan was dating this other girl before he broke up with Chili. So I wanted to address that and clarify that for the people that didn't believe me when I said that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly address that because it seemed like there was a misconception. And at least this is from Rebecca's side. So uh, I wanted to get that out of the way because obviously there was some confusion there um, before we actually dived into the main part of this video. But with that out of the way, we have some major updates from key people within the parties with one being supposedly Logan's mom and Chili herself, finally. So without further ado, let's just dive into that portion. So a fan messaged me on Instagram by the name of Joshua Cortez and he basically sent me a, a bunch of photos that he apparently got with Logan's mom. Now, when uh, looking on the profile and analyzing it, it looks to be the actual Nicole Grant, which is Logan's mother. So I think this possibly is legit, but still take this with a grain of salt just in case. So basically the fan decided to message her, um, basically asking her about the situation between Chili and Logan. And Logan's mom first starts off by saying, Hi, I'm Logan's mother, and I'm interested in what information you have that the girl is using him. You said you have facts. This is referring to apparently Joshua basically saying that he's certain that this girl is supposedly using Logan for money. Um, obviously, the girl is referring to Adriana. And the guy responds back by saying, well, I mean, for one, I just feel like that if they just started dating, why would she just randomly want to go on a vacation with Logan even though they barely just met? I'm scared that she is just using him for his money. Hopefully you can get back to me and we can discuss. And actually, Nicole replied here and she said, Logan and Chili have been together since high school and they never really dated anyone else. They have reached a point in their lives that they want to explore what life has to offer. They have agreed to a break and try to see what life would be like without each other. Logan decided to go to Hawaii to escape from all the drama that is here at home. Now, basically, what she's saying here is that apparently Logan wanted to escape the drama here um, at home, aka what's happening around him. Basically, he wanted to go to Hawaii to basically take a little vacation. But apparently, I guess, Adriana wanted to tag along in all of this, and she did. And the fan responds by saying, ah, okay, this makes a lot of sense, thank you. And Logan's mom responds by saying, you are welcome. At the end of the break, they will decide what is best for them. All we can do is wait and see what they decide. Um, but yeah, that's apparently Logan's real mom who actually replied to this. And just like I said, based on the profile, it seems like she is legit. Um, it is quite odd, though, that Logan's not following the profile, but the profile was created sometime earlier in February, so maybe Logan hasn't found the profile yet and is following his mom. Now, moving on to the next bit of information we got was directly from Chili herself. Now, Chili actually finally hit Twitter and actually decided to respond to the whole drama with her statement and that fact that she's apparently going to make an actual YouTube video addressing the drama. Chili starts out by tweeting here, I think it's time. I'm not the one to address stuff, but with Logan making me look like the bad guy and everyone hating on me, I think it's the time for the truth on YouTube. I was just afraid I'd tell the truth and Logan would be like, lol, nah, and then you'd all call me the liar. By the way, if you guys just knew, then one, you wouldn't believe me. 
And two, you would know I've done nothing wrong, but I wasn't trying to get Logan hate like he's doing with me because he was still in my life for so long. So, yeah, apparently Chili's planning on dropping an actual YouTube video where she basically addresses the whole situation and completely gives her side of the story no beating around the bush this time around she's actually going to respond and honestly i think that is such a good thing because finally i think we can finally end this drama because at least we can now have her side and then hopefully with her releasing that video logan will be pressured to release his own video and then we can finally just put this drama to rest and finally we can all be good now, Chili also did reply to some comments that people made on those posts that she had made earlier. So I thought we'd go and um, look at the replies here. So the first comment that she replies to is from this guy named Astro1110. And he says, it seems like Adriana is also using him for money. Chili responds here by saying, well, that's kind of what strippers do. And by paying her off every time they hang out also shows that's what it is whatever he's happy and you support him so basically what Chili's saying here is that adriana apparently is using logan for money that is her belief um or at least her claim and um we really don't know if that's true or not we do need some evidence to back this up hopefully she'll address this a little bit more in the actual video that she does make Another comment she replies to is from Fintan Majora, who says, What did he say to make you look like the bad guy? Chili responds here by saying, Him sending pics to Lavelle so Lavelle can, quote, leak them on Instagram because Logan knows I'm trying to stay quiet if he stays quiet. So, yeah, apparently she's saying that those pics from previous videos, um, the one where basically it's her and Roy at the Super Bowl, that basically those pictures were taken by Logan and then were given to Lavelle so Lavelle um, could leak them. Now, obviously, still don't know if that is true. That is her claim. Um, I would like to see a little bit more evidence in the video and hopefully we will. So finally, Chili responds to one more comment here and it's from Waffles waiting on at Cole Mill who says, I'm upset that Logan got over you like nothing. He seems like he has always loved this girl. Making the story of him cheating on you makes sense. And Chili responds here by saying, You think he got over me in a week? It's been going on for a while. Like while we were dating type of while. No dude, quote, moves on from 10 years like that. So once again, um, Chili is claiming something that um, Rebecca also claimed, which is the fact that Logan apparently might have been cheating on Chili before they actually broke up. So once again, you've heard it straight from Chili. Um, apparently, that is her claim that Logan was indeed dating Adriana slash Willow before he actually broke up with Chili. Now this last bit of news comes from Lavelle and it relates to basically Lavelle's war against Roy um, because apparently Lavelle literally leaked Roy's address on his Instagram story and apparently he said this just watch the clip all right I posted that address because he posted my grandma's previously her address now don't send nothing to that nigga. don't send no hate mail don't don't even don't do none of that swat because that's illegal I just wanted to be up there so he can know how it and yeah so uh, basically Lavelle apparently leaked Roy's address because Roy leaked his grandma's house's address which is really weird because Lavelle literally said not to witch hunt Roy but he leaked his address in the first place even though there's going to be people that follow his rule and don't witch hunt Roy there's still going to be the people that are going to try and hunt him down which I think is completely wrong and it's bad it's sort of like a double negative in a sort of way because literally you probably shouldn't have leaked it in the first place. But yeah, with that being said, that basically wraps up the whole drama so far within the last two days. And I think we're finally going to get to the point where this all ends. Because finally we have key people in the group who are finally speaking out. Who are literally kind of like the leaders of it all. And I honestly can't wait till this is all over and we can finally move on with our lives. But yeah, that's about going to do it for me. 
Let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. Um, give this video a like if you did indeed like it. And subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said, I don't just do SML drama. I also do drama on other subjects. That's what I want to try to get into more. And as well as that, I also have a series that I really like to produce called the Downfall Series where I looked at defunct creators or creators that aren't as popular anymore. And I look at their past and where they are now. It's a series that I put a lot of time and effort into it. So it, I would really appreciate it if you check that series out. And if you like these sort of videos, then I'm pretty sure you will like those as well. But with that being said, I've been C-Dust. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. This video is possible by my patrons. If you guys would like to help support me and the channel, then go ahead and click the Patreon link in the description and check out my Patreon page where you can see a list of perks to choose from, which will help support me and will also give you some benefits as well. Also, make sure to check out my merch. I have just launched my first t-shirt design. It will only be available till February 22nd. There are three versions. There is a 60-40 cotton t-shirt and a 100% cotton t-shirt as well as a hoodie. Another thing to note is that these designs are only available for a limited time and once that February 22nd date is gone, they will no longer be available and they will not come back. So if you want that specific design, be sure to act now and buy a shirt. If you want to see me fly down to Pensacola to meet Logan, then go ahead and also donate to the Fund My Travel page in the description. If you don't have $10 to donate, you can even donate $3 by going and clicking the coffee link in the description and donating that way.